Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Our little dent right here that you see uh, turned out to be a little bigger than we suspected. Uh, but I'm the type of guy, I like to do it perfect. I don't care how much money I'm making, okay, because my name is on this. And uh, that's the situation you have when you're in this kind of work, okay. It doesn't matter if you're charging $75 or $7,500. Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to have to do a nice job. Okay, uh, even if you go back to the customer and you tell him, look, dude, you only gave me 75 bucks. It's still going to be on his bike. He's going to tell him that you painted it. Do you see what I'm saying? So even though uh, that's $75, I still got to do it right because my name is on this. So uh, we went ahead and filled our den in. But if you look right here, okay, I don't even know if you can see that right there there's some high spots in this area right here okay let me, there it is okay, you see where it's shiny right there yeah that's high spots so what I got to do is I got to uh, dolly those out and then I'll put a skim coat of Evercoat on it and uh, we'll be ready to prime so I'm gonna take my dolly and I'm sticking it inside the fender doing is getting the high spot. There's one right here. And I don't know if you can imagine this, but the dolly is inside the fender and I'm moving it. Okay, I'm moving it like this. Okay, you see I stick it in here and then I move it. that my high spots are gone but there's just a minor low spot in it instead of you know hammering it back and forth and dollying it and everything else I'm gonna go ahead see it's a little high right here here's a high spot right there I don't know if you can see that in the camera I'm stick my dolly in there and it doesn't take much when you do that all it takes is some minor, just barely, if you see how I'm holding my hammer, okay, that's all it takes. And I'm using uh, the corner and the flat side of my body hammer. You see what I'm saying? Just to finesse that out of there. Let me put another coat on there. Be right back. Okay, on the last coat of uh, filler, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a small amount of Evercoat polyester filler and some hardener. Okay, and what this is going to do is going to let it flow out better. And uh, once again, I did finesse the high spots out. And all this is going to do is help feather everything out. Okay, because this is going to be black. And even though I'm charging 75 fucking dollars, how did I get in this fucking mess? I don't know. I put my own fucking money into it. My own time. And especially after I dropped the fender and dented it. That really kind of fucked things up for us. So I'm just kind of feathering it out. Concentrating on the dollied area where I hit it with my hammer. Concentrating on those areas in particular. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead
And then once again, we'll let that dry. We'll come back, block it with 80 grit, and hopefully it'll be ready for primer. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.